Yo, what's up guys? This is Sam One Shot over here and this is me bringing you the second war of Alliance Season 17. We are up against ISO 8, a really, really good alliance. They've got a stacked defense, they're top AQ. So we knew that our even our second war is, was going to be tough after we faced ASR. So here I'm on my path um, 3 in Section 1, using Quake like always on Psychic Thorns. Uh, our global counter wasn't flow, it was siphon. While BG1 and BG2 of our of Kenobi had the flow, our BG3 they had they put um, siphon. So we were kind of like shocked and surprised we didn't expect this. And here you're gonna see I'm gonna screw up in a second. I just let go of my heavy, dark hawk he hits me, and luckily concussion hits in the right moment. So he just did a three hit combo and i didn't die that was so i was kind of lucky that i didn't die i was like oh my god can you imagine i'm gonna die again so well uh fight goes well it just cost me three pots and here i'm still using the old alliance war boost boosted up huge for this uh, war as well so relatively we've had to like to face the two one of the two toughest alliances in the whole game and yeah so now i'm just gonna go against warlock and uh, using quake as always just uh, use the healer up and this fight's gonna go pretty much smooth in a way i mean i didn't mess up in this one uh, the dark hawk really just got me on my it, i got nervous over there so i don't know i just let go of my heavy that's one of quake's uh, things you can that can cost you in in a fight so yeah, fight's going pretty smooth, as you can see, I'm down in 30 seconds, and he's almost at like 28% of HP, so yeah, pretty good fight in a way, I didn't mess up, as as you can see, I just, he just died, and uh, he just dropped, so, uh, good, good fight over there, and here I'm again gonna take MODOK, uh, in this one as well, so I've, I've been seeing a lot of MODOKs over here, and uh, I don't know why they place him over here, probably because he's like, it's a limber node, it's psychic thorns, and people think uh, they won't send like a quake player on this path, so I don't know, this is like, I've seen a lot of MODOKs over here this season, this is the second time I'm seeing a MODOK over here, last season I saw plenty of MODOKs over here, so yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know, it's just not adding up in my opinion, I mean, he's, a, he's not a bad defender, so... He could be they could i mean we, they could play some modok and another no on another node like alliances and stuff that's just a heads up because i mean I, I it's not causing me any trouble and stuff so yeah it's a regular fight here i just do a nice evade on his heavy i block too much so he kind of like did his heavy attack but i evaded it properly perfectly as well so yeah it's a limber node as i was telling you so that could probably just create a bit of a problem because quake can, cannot add that many traumas on on the opponents and stuff but for the rest uh, it was easter this uh, the night before easter so it was okay i mean i was like you know um, pretty much uh, sober let's uh, <laughs> anticipate that in this moment because uh, Easter in Italy, despite all lockdown and the coronavirus, which I hope every one of you is safe and healthy, and uh, God bless um, you guys are all uh, in good conditions. Uh, uh, yeah, we're all in home, and so we can't celebrate Easter the way we could. And uh, so um, this was just uh, the night before Easter, and uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that so i was like kind of like i knew that the next day i was gonna have like a lunch a good lunch at home with my family and you know uh, everything else and here i was uh, wondering if i should have taken red hulk uh, i kind of like saw in the chat online that uh, like there was instructions like you know some somebody can take red hulk and i was like okay i'll jump in because i just have all my boosts and stuff and uh, it's pretty, it's just the armor up node, so it's not too difficult in a way. So I just decided to take this node as well. And yeah, this fight goes uh, relatively smooth, uh, no kind of problems and stuff. As you can see, I even took in Nick Fury for the extra boost and stuff. So yeah, I'm using like a 30% green boost, got Nick Fury's 10%, and I plus put in another 10% of the attack boost. So pretty boosted up for this war I, I would say it's it's not bad it's it's a good it helps a lot you feel really good when you can boost that much and stuff your your attack is almost like the ai's and so yeah that's that helps a lot as you can see here in like 30 seconds he's almost down to like half hp 
and so yeah a pretty straightforward fight over here as i was telling you it's a siphon global node so not nothing to worry about too much just don't get too many blocked hits and stuff because that would just uh lower the that would cost me more pots in the next few fights and stuff so yeah uh pretty pretty okay so uh, at this point we were like uh probably like four to one or something like that uh, iso eight were like already they gave in four deaths so it was okay we were like not too like you know stressed out and stuff but we knew we couldn't let our guard down like always we're kenobi the best alliance in the game so yeah um at this point you're just gonna see him it's like a minute and 30 seconds and there you go he's he's dead so yeah quake always gets the job done no matter what in most of these fights and in the lines for so yeah that's done for the first night and this is the next day on uh, path one section two and you're gonna see this fight this fight drove me crazy for several reasons first of all i was uh, this was right after easter lunch so i had a bit of too much extra wine <laughs> and i was a bit tipsy so yeah that was uh, i was a little bit nervous about that but you're gonna see this vigor node on for king groot it's he's a really really good placement over here and then really annoying one as well because you're gonna see how much he's gonna regen so uh, it's like almost like two and uh, 30 seconds into and i was like okay he's down he's down to like 57 percent but just look what's gonna happen right over here there you go the regen it just procs in and he's gonna regen to max hp so like my fight starts again like at 215 so i was like all right i knew this was like a scenario that could have taken place but i was like okay just uh, maintain your calm and you know don't just just play your style quake game and stuff so here I am, I'm, I was a little bit tipsy, I was telling you, so I'm doing some block, uh, extra block damage, taking blo extra block damage, and I even let go, so I was like, damn it, you know, it was like the alcohol <laughs> kicking in, it was an extra glass of wine and stuff, and you're gonna see, like, I, I was, like, paying attention to the regen and stuff, and trying to, like, you know, notice how much it's gonna, like, proc in and stuff, and a minute and 30, usually I would, like, finish a fight like this with so much boost, as I was telling you, but he's he's gonna regen again as you're gonna see and it's gonna really drive me crazy because i was really nervous here look at that he's just back up like it's just going in a minute and 20 i was like oh my god he's back to like almost 75 percent. i was like damn it a minute and 15 so i was like trying to maintain my calm over here i was like i don't i can't do anything more i just need to like you know uh do my quake style and i was seeing the regen again i was like oh god it just just don't just don't go regen like you know back to full hp or something or probably i'm gonna time out and i was really worried at this point i was like i'm gonna probably time out and stuff so yeah i was like 55 seconds into the fight and i was like jesus what's gonna happen is there another regen gonna proc in and stuff and i was uh, tipsy as i was telling you but luckily 45 seconds left on the timer he drops i was like phew thank god so yeah uh, a little bit tipsy <laughs> uh nah, i wouldn't advise pe players to play when they're drunk and they're tipsy but i was pretty much sober i had a couple of uh, coffees and stuff espresso so i was good to go and here i'm gonna go against doom as well it's a pretty straightforward fight uh i was meant to take the next note as well uh the sentinel but uh, i used a lot of pots on this uh in this uh war against uh, iso 8 and uh, yeah so i was like i quake was the best solution for that sentinel fight but then afterwards when i had five pots i was like oh, should i take it and after my alliance leader and officers told me you're a bit too drunk just chill relax so i was like okay cool so here i'm taking a doom fight it's a straightforward fight as i told you just parry quake and parry nothing much about that but the siphon no was kind of like scaring me because you can see how much block damage i'm taking it's a six star as well so i was a bit nervous but you're gonna see that in a few seconds uh doom's gonna drop so yeah it's, it's just the extra block damage that i'm taking that just scares me out as you can see i'm down to 30 percent so yeah that's done for my part of the war as i told you i don't take sentinel we won shout out to all the mvps of this war and um i saw it as well they played a good game because at some point they were they stopped dying and we were uh getting nervous and afterwards everything fell into place so they didn't die as well and uh, we uh, we they died and we weren't and you can see despite the fact i took few nodes uh, i still 
came in like top 10 for the MVP. So yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting to be anywhere up, up but still eight is good. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and see you the next time. Take care. Ciao, ciao.